Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and today we are reviewing episode 2 of Madame and Mercy. Let's get into it. This is Madame and Madame is not going anywhere. What Madame wants, Madame can't. This episode, I have to say, it took it a few notch up. It's not like last week when they were still starting out, but now I feel like Madame and Mercy are starting to get comfortable around the camera. And it's awkward because they did Housewives of Johannesburg, so they should be uh, comfortable around the camera by now. But I have to say, ladies and gents, you know what I am loving about this episode is that they introduced two new characters. Um, it's Auntie Jackie and Natalia. Let's check out Auntie Jackie. with madame yes for over 25 years you know you look at madame you see the good life and that's what i loved about her the first time i met her mm. I think we'll say, um, yes mm. and it's long overdue i you see, what I love about Auntie Jackie is that she's bringing a little bit of soulfulness to the show. She's bringing a little bit of authenticity. I think she is making Madame seem a whole lot human because a lot were com a lot of people have been complaining on social media that the show looks very plastic, very fake. And I think with the inception of Auntie Jackie, it's just making it become real. And also from the last episode, I actually liked Auntie Angie, um, uh, who is Madame's sister, who was like, nah, nah, bro, are they marrying in community of her party or what? I feel like her character is also very cool and very funny and we can't wait to see more of her and i think also natalia is a great um is a great intro is a great piece into the show let's just check her out through my husband uh madame's husband and my husband but man our friendship is more motherly because she's older than me i'm very young but nalia now we're at click the thing I love about Natalia is that she is bringing money, honey. She's not just coming with good looks. She's got money. You should check out her Instagram. I was just like, hey, girl, you go, how much money you got? No, whoever she married, honey, <laughs> now they got money. They got money. Let's get into the episodes themselves. I mean, I loved how Natalia and G were introduced, but you know the trip that was supposed the trip that Madame was being taken to by Mercy to Bella to Bella Bella. I feel like that story could have been told differently and elongated in a way. We could have seen Madame struggling to handle um, a princess or you know being under a whole lot of stress, but they went on this trip to a beautiful resort. I feel like the shots there were beautiful. You guys did an amazing job. However, I've got one critic. I mean, the trip, it was not well cut, well told. Let's just check it out. We're not just traveling, guys. We're traveling in style. Levels and levels and levels and levels and levels. So, I mean, why not fly private, honey? God is good all the time. God is good. Because the Bentley, the Maybell, the private jet, I wouldn't have expected anything less. Here's the thing, if you're a fan of Housewives like me, you know every time there's a trip, it becomes an event. I feel like they could have shown this ladies packing their wardrobe, you know, into their Louis Vuittons, you know, getting ready to go to the airport, getting into the Maybag and the Bentley. We only saw like one, like two seconds literally of the Maybag and the Bentley. And if you don't know a Maybag or a Bentley, you are just like me, you did not know what those cars are. But like if a show is trying to sell us like, uh, affluence and opulence. I mean, they should have showed us that. I feel like that was a cheat. I mean, I think they were more concerned about showing us that small airplane that they call a private jet, which I've never been in a private jet, but honey, that is too small. But anyway, moon ring on along. I feel like that could have been shot differently. A lot of housewives do trips, and I think like they could have benchmarked from that. And one other thing that I did not particularly like is when the rooms were being allocated. It seemed like an awkward show. It's like the ladies were coming into the room with, ah, ah, ah. It was very awkward. Just check it out. Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh, this is 
The room is big, it's beautiful. I just want to see who got the best room. Right, it was very awkward. I feel like it could have been done differently. And it sounded so fake and like everybody was trying to squeeze into the camera. I don't know if it's the camera positioning or the ladies are not comfortable around the camera. But it was like, ooh, ah, like everybody was just so scared. It just looked tense. It was cringe worthy. Like I couldn't, I couldn't take it. If I could skip it, I would have skipped it. But I had to give you guys this review. So I watched everything, the ooh um, and the arms and the ah. But what I loved, what I loved is the dinner scene. I feel like it just authenticated everything. It just made Mercy, it made Madame come across as so real. And it proves the point that I was trying to illustrate earlier, that the inception of Auntie Jackie is everything because she is bringing authenticity, honey. She is bringing tears. Let's check it out. I'm still, I still want to try because I'm still hopeful that I will one day conceive. My husband loves kids. My husband is a is an introvert, so you can leave him with five kids and take care of them without complaining. But we don't have. Would you ever adopt? Um, he's not for adoption. Right, right, guys. Like you guys should say, like we love her. Right, I can't wait to see more of her in the show. And since she wants to be the maid of honor, I feel like I'm gonna see it. And I feel like the whole wedding is gonna be amazing. I can't wait to watch the next episode. It seems like it's gonna be very emotional. It's gonna be very raw. It's gonna be very real. I am going to give them three stars out of five for this episode. I feel like we are getting there. We, we, we're not at a four yet. We're not at a five yet. They're not giving us enough drama, enough authenticity, but we're getting there. Let's just give them a three. A three, right? Three stars, right? You know, right? Yeah, three stars. Okay, cool. Until the next episode, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it with your friends. Tell them about it. Bring your friends over here. Let's have fun. No tribute homo I want to break an egg. But until next episode, a revoir, goodie who. Bye.